If you've ever tried to scrape data from the web, you know this pain. You build a script, it works for 10 minutes, then boom, 403 forbidden, IP ban, capture wall, game over. You try rotating IPs, tweaking headers, buying cheap proxies, nothing works. Today, I'll show you how to build an AI agent that scrapes the web autonomously. No blocks, no captures, no maintenance. We're using N8N for automation and Decodo for data collection. By the end, you'll have an agent that can research competitors, monitor prices, or extract any data completely hands off. Let's build it. Traditional web scraping breaks for three reasons. First, IP reputation. Websites flag data center IPs immediately. They know you're not a real user. Second, fingerprinting. Sites analyze your headers, cookies, and behavior patterns. Too consistent? Blocked. Third, rate limits. Send too many requests from one source, and you trigger automatic blocks. Most scraping projects fail within 48 hours. You spend more time fixing the scraper than using the data. The fix? You need three things. Residential IPs that look like real users, automatic retry logic when blocks happen, and a system that handles all of this for you. That's exactly what Dakota does. Dakota isn't just a proxy provider, it's a complete data collection infrastructure. 125 million total IP pool across 195 countries. Automatic CAPTCHA solving, built-in retry logic, and here's the key. They have a native N8N integration. Let me show you the setup. Head to Dakota. Link in the description. You'll need the Web Scraping API Advanced Plan for the N8N integration. Once you're in, go to the Web Scraping API section. Here's your authentication token. Copy this. We'll need it in N8N. When you send a request through Dakota, it automatically routes through residential IPs, rotates proxies on every request, handles CAPTCHAs, and returns clean HTML or structured JSON. You're not managing infrastructure anymore. You're just making API calls. Now let's plug this into N8N. If you don't have an N8N account yet, head to n8n.io. You can use their cloud version or self-host it. Either works. For this tutorial, I'm using N8N Cloud. Sign up with your email. The free tier gives you enough executions to test everything we're building today. Once you're logged in, you'll see the workflow dashboard. Click Create New Workflow to get started. Here's what we're building. An AI agent that can browse the web and extract data on command. You ask it, find the price of this product on Amazon, it scrapes the page, analyzes the data, and returns structured results, all autonomous. Let's start with the foundation. Search for chat trigger in the nodes panel, drag the chat trigger node onto the canvas. This creates a chat interface so we can talk to our agent. Click on the node to configure it. The default settings work fine, just make sure public chat is enabled so we can test it easily. Now let's test this basic setup before we add the AI. Click the test workflow button at the bottom, a chat window opens up, type anything, hello, or test message. You'll see the message flow through the chat trigger node. This confirms our interface is working. Perfect, now we can build the actual AI agent on top of this foundation. Search for AI agent in the nodes panel and drag it onto the canvas. Connect the chat trigger output to the AI agent input. This routes all chat messages to the agent. Open the AI agent configuration. This is where we choose our language model. I'm using OpenAI's GPT-4, but you can use Claude, Google Gemini, or any model you prefer. Click on the Chat Model dropdown and select OpenAI Chat Model. You'll need to add your OpenAI credentials. Click Create New Credential. Now paste your OpenAI API key here. You can get this from platform.openai.com. Save the credential and select your model. I'm using GPT-4 Turbo for the best results. Now here's the key part. We need to connect tools to this agent. Tools are what give the agent actual capabilities, like scraping websites. Without tools, it's just a chatbot. With tools, it becomes autonomous. Now search for Dakota in the Tools panel. Here it is, the Dakota Web Scraping node. Drag it onto the canvas. This is crucial. Connect it to the AI agent node as a tool, not as a regular node. Click the Tools connection point on the AI agent and drag it to the Dakota node. This tells the agent you can use this Dakota tool whenever you need to scrape a website. Double click the Dakota node to configure it. We need to add our credentials from earlier. Click Create New Credential. Remember that authentication token we copied from the Dakota dashboard? Paste it here. Give it a name like Dakota API and save. Select the credential in the dropdown. The node is now configured. That's it. The agent can now use Dakota to scrape any URL you give it. One more thing add a window buffer memory node. Search for it in the nodes panel. Drag it onto the canvas and connect it to the AI agent. This lets the agent remember context across messages. So if you ask a follow-up question, it knows what you were talking about. Here's our complete basic setup. Chat trigger for the interface, AI agent with GPT-4 as the brain, 
decodo as the scraping tool and memory for context. Time to test it. Click test workflow again. The chat interface opens. Now let me ask it to scrape an Amazon product page. Scrape this Amazon product page and tell me the price and rating and I'll paste an Amazon URL. Watch what happens. The AI agent receives the message and analyzes what it needs to do. It recognizes it needs to scrape a URL, so it calls the Decodo tool. You can see the Decodo node light up and execute. Decodo fetches the page through a residential proxy, no blocks. Clean HTML returned. The agent extracts the price and rating from the HTML. And here's the response. Product name, price, rating, structured and clean. No 403 errors, no CAPTCHAs, just data. That's the power of combining an AI agent with proper scraping infrastructure. Now let's make this actually useful. I'll add automatic data storage. Search for Google Sheets in the Nodes panel. Drag it onto the canvas, connect it after the AI agent. We want to log every scrape automatically. Set up your Google Sheets credentials. Click Sign in with Google and authorize N8N to access your Sheets. Select your spreadsheet or create a new one called Scraping Data. Map the data fields, product name, price, rating, date, URL. Here's the full setup now. Chat interface, AI agent, decoder tool, and automatic Google Sheets logging. Let me run this again with a different product. Same process. Agent scrapes, extracts data, analyzes. And here's the data flowing into Google Sheets in real time. Product name, price, rating, timestamp. All structured and stored automatically. This is production ready. You could run this on a schedule, trigger it via webhook, integrate it into your app, whatever fits your use case. Let me prove why this works. I'm going to stress test this. Five requests, same URL, back to back, watch. Request one, success. Request two, success. Three, four, five, all successful. No blocks, no captures. Every single request succeeded. Here's all five entries in Google Sheets. Clean data, no errors. That's because Decoto rotates residential IPs automatically behind the scenes. To Amazon, these looked like five different users from different locations. This is the difference between scraping as a side project and scraping as infrastructure. You're not debugging error codes at 2 a.m. You're not fighting with proxy configs. You're just collecting data. Here's what we built, an AI agent that can autonomously scrape any website, extract structured data, and store it automatically. From here, you could add scheduling to run this hourly, connect multiple scrapers for competitor analysis, build a real-time dashboard, or integrate this into a Slack bot. The complete workflow template is in the description below, along with links to Decodo and N8N. The infrastructure is ready. Now build something useful with it.